Hello everybody and welcome to LRN News Edition. Today we are covering the biggest stories from the weekend and the week just gone in the world of Formula One. And there's only one place to start and that's confirmation from Sebastian Vettel himself that he is considering his place as a Formula One driver due to his views on climate and the impact that Formula One is having on the climate as a whole. Now, obviously, you know, I don't expect anything to happen immediately, but just to clarify and give some background to this, he has been outspoken on uh, environmental issues for a long time. At the Miami GP, you may have seen that he had top, a top on talking about how um, it's the first race underwater in Miami. The reason being that Miami is in serious danger with global warming of being flooded and no longer somewhere hospitable. You, it will be completely underwater where the racetrack actually is if global warming continues at the current pace that it that it is. So Vettel used that forum and used his um, status as a Formula 1 driver in, in the public eye to bring awareness to that issue and fair play to him for doing that and standing up for what he believes in. Following that he was invited to appear on um, uh, BBC uh, Question Time and on Question Time he made it clear um, and he was asked if he's a hypocrite for being a Formula One driver in you know an industry that does cause a lot of pollution um, was he a hypocrite for actually just being a driver in Formula One to which he said he was um, and for that reason he is considering his place as a Formula One driver um, while he still loves driving um, and when he's in the car all he thinks about is the driving he absolutely loves doing it it's becoming harder for him when he's not in the car to justify his continued position in the sport so I don't think it will happen anything will happen during the season but there were already rumors of him moving on purely based on his career tra trajectory to this point so with this in mind as well, it's becoming more and more likely that this could be the last season that we see Vettel in the sport. But looking at it from just, forgetting his career, looking at it from just the environmental perspective, I don't agree um, necessarily with, with the hypocrite criticism. Um, I think employees are not to blame for the sins of their employers. That's not how it works. Um, especially from someone in the BBC, any large corporation, especially them, have skeletons in their closet and their employees are not to blame for those issues. So I don't agree with the sentiment. I think that he is actually better placed in the position that he's in to stand up for this and help drive change from within, help become, um, as an experienced voice, help drive change, whether it, whether it be to do with the engines, um, maybe they can do something in terms of all their travel, maybe help push forward biofuel, things of that nature. They have so many relationships with oil companies in Formula One. They're in such an advantageous position to actually harness those relationships and get these companies really driving towards sustainable fuels in the future, which they talk about a lot and they make out that they're doing a lot, but actual studies show that they're not doing as much, these companies aren't doing as much as they suggest that they are. So I think he's better placed where he is. Get more people around him, build that voice up even more, get a bit more pressure from within Formula One to make those changes. And hopefully we'd see that moving forward and Formula One could become um, carbon neutral, possibly, if they can get that plan together to do that. Um, there's certainly lots of things they can improve on but I think as I say in the public eye he's in a better position to have those conversations and make those changes than if he was to step away um, but that's my view on it what is yours let me know in the comments below do you think that he is better served by staying where he is and using his status in the sport to help drive change or do you think he is a hypocrite um, for having these concerns when he drives for Formula One and that he should step aside if, if he truly believes that um, climate change is as big of an issue as he does and as lots of people do. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Second story, coming in from Mercedes again, Hamilton is causing more issues. So you may have seen it again uh, in, the conf in the press conference, he's kind of stood up for himself with this jewellery issue. So told he had to get rid of his jewellery, 
given some leeway on his nose ring. He's come into the press conference covered in watches, covered in jewellery, chains, everything that he can to prove a point clearly that he, he's not happy with this. Um, what it was understood originally a week ago that he had agreed that he would get everything removed in that time. However, it has now come to light that he is pushing back on the nose ring situation because it would require minor surgery to remove it. It's not like a chain or a watch. He has to have it physically removed via surgery um, and it's not something he's willing to do, especially considering it's he didn't agree with any of it in the first place. So the most interesting part about this is that if he does not get that nose ring removed, he will not be allowed to leave the pit lane after the Barcelona Grand Prix. He has been given leeway for Barcelona and Miami. Miami's been and gone. We've got Barcelona next. He is allowed the nose ring for that race. When we get to the next race with Monaco, if that nose ring is still in place, he will be scrutineered as a driver the same way the cars are checked before they are allowed to go out of the pit lane on to you know into practice qualifying or the race all the same if he is scrutineered or actually the FIA can refuse to scrutineer him on the basis that they are aware he has that nose ring if he has not been scrutineered it's the same as the car it will not be allowed on track so in light of that we are now in a situation where it appears Mercedes are making plans for what they're going to do if he doesn't remove the nose ring and if the FIA do not allow him to drive. We've now got Nick De Vries ready to go and have his first Formula One direct experience mm -hmm. in the Williams car uh, in Barcelona. So he's now coming to the next race and he will be driving the Williams in practice one to get his first taste of Formula One action. And I'd speculate that is definitely in pre pre preparation for Hamilton not being able to drive the car in Monaco should he decide not to remove that ring so it'll be really interesting to see how this progresses because obviously I don't think the FIA are going to back down on this um, they can't be seen to so if he keeps it he won't be participating in Formula 1 until he makes the decision to remove it which I'm not sure that he will um, so it's going to be really interesting over the next few weeks to see how this plans out Who see who buckles first but it appears as well, Nick De Vries will be there ready to step in. Uh, Stoffel Van Dorn's also been mentioned, his uh, teammate <clears throat> in Formula E, both drivers for Mercedes in Formula E, but it does appear Nick De Vries would be the one to come forward and we would expect him to take Hamilton's seat in that car should he not be allowed to drive in that race. And the other interesting thing is it becomes a bit of an excuse for Hamilton to kind of write this season off um, if that does happen, but that's... We'll, we'll, we'll look at what happens next before we speculate too much on that um, but we'll see how things develop be very interesting as I say going into the Monaco Grand Prix uh, to see how that changes and that is it for the news this week we're obviously at race week now which is fantastic um, looking forward to the race this weekend looking forward to how the cars develop can Sainz get his first win for Ferrari and at his home Grand Prix as well that would be fantastic as well so we'll see how things develop but anyway thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments below what you if you've you seen any other news anything else you're interested in anything else you want to be talked about um, what else do you want to see on the channel do let me know hit a like on the video please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching goodbye